Hi, and welcome to another episode of Hot Takes with me, the Silver Fox. And they're up to their usual tricks. This time the NHS are cancelling the word woman from menopause advice. Well, I don't know anyone else who's going to have a menopause, except women. Men don't have one. Yes, I know they talk about the male menopause, but that's merely a state of panic in which one buys a sports car and hires a young bit of arm candy before running home to the wife and begging forgiveness. But the male menopause aside, the female menopause is a real thing. And only women get it. So why is the NHS not mentioning women? Let's take a look. So here we are. The NHS quietly removes the word women from its menopause page. Well, it may quietly remove it, but we're damn well going to shout it out. Women and woman quietly omitted from NHS's advice about the menopause. Online guidance used to refer to women six times in overview about the condition. It comes amid a row about gender neutral terms overcomplicating health advice. And we've done an article on this before where people in the medical profession are saying we must stop this. Uh, the, the actual medical staff are saying no, you must not make them gender neutral. There are people out there who need advice, who don't understand necessarily the terms, uh, but they do understand men and women. And so it should never be gender neutral when it is specific to either one sex or the other. Uh, but anyway, we'll go on. Uh, the NHS has ditched the terms women and woman from its menopause guidance, despite ministers promising to crack down on woke, gender-free language in medical advice. Last month, Mail Online revealed how NHS Digital had quietly scrubbed all mention of women from its landing pages for ovarian, womb and cervical cancer, and I did a video on that. The move was condemned by Health Secretary Shajid Javid, who said common sense and the right language should be used to give people the best possible care. Now, Mail Online has found women, uh, women and women have also been omitted from official advice about the menopause, which is unique to biological females, and we need to stop using the term biological females and instead use the term females because uh, no matter how much you dress and how much you want to be anything else you are female if you are born female you will be female for your entire life in his over uh, in his online overview about the menopause nhs advice used to contain six gender specific mentions but it was updated on may the 17th to remove the terms Experts have warned degendering medical advice could be dangerous for women by overcomplicating vital health messaging. Because not everybody is as bright as other people. And they may not understand all the medical terms, but they do understand the terms men and women, as I've said. NHS Digital, which manages health information web pages, told Mail Online it wanted to ensure language is inclusive. Screw that. If you want inclusive, go run a newspaper or some advice for you know a load of old rubbish do not put inclusive language in publications that could end up harming people very very seriously or worse because of your mental state that you seem to think that people who are born male are women and people who are born women are male that is mental illness and it will end people's lives a spokesman added the NHS website provides information for everybody. Do you know, before we go on, I bet the people who are writing this on the NHS website and that, none of them are medically trained. All of them are the product of woke socialist education systems. Guarantee it. Uh, we keep the pages under continual review to ensure they use language that is inclusive. Screw inclusive. Use correct language that won't harm people. Because hurty fifis won't endanger people. Whereas wrong medical advice will, you morons, and anyone who's actually pushing this needs to be fired. You need to fire them. If they are doing this, they need to be fired. So here's the old letter. Uh, the menopause is when a woman stops having periods, and it still is, um, and is no longer able to get pregnant naturally. Uh, let's go some further. The menopause is a natural part of ageing that usually occurs between 45 and 55 years of age as a woman's estrogen levels decline. In the UK, the average age for a woman to reach the menopause is 51, but one in 100 women experience the menopause before 40. Most women will experience menopausal symptoms. Uh, 
Menopausal symptoms can begin months or even years before your period stop and last for four years after your last period, although some women experience them for much longer. Now, the fact is, I don't care if you're a man pretending to be a woman. You're not a woman. You'll never have a, a, a menopausal period. Never have a period, never have menopause. Or if you're a woman pretending to be a man, you're still a woman and you will have the menopause. End of story. Forget inclusivity and words and look to medical facts that may save your life. You stupid, mentally ill people. So it goes on and just describes basically what I've just said there. Um, but Dr. Carleen Gribble, uh, an expert in nursing and midwifery from Western Sydney University in Australia, who has previously spoken about the dangers of gender-free medical language, slammed the changes. Uh, the risk of desexing this information remains that women who have low English or health literacy may not know that the information applies to them. The first sentence of the older version, the menopause is when a woman stops having periods and is no longer able to get pregnant naturally, is really important in signposting to women that they should read further. She added that the new version of the page violates a basic principle of health communication that identifies who the information is for. They are endangering people's health with their woke, inclusive, gender identity language. Their language of the mentally ill. And it needs to stop. And we need to fire people who use it. Stop giving them power. Stop giving them authority. Let them go and live in their own little ward in the psychiatric hospital. Anyway, so we'll come up and round off. There will come a time when someone suffers. Someone will have a major medical trauma or incident or some such. Who knows what it will be? But it will be because of inclusive language. Because that person won't have realised that it didn't apply to them or that it did apply to them. Because of the mentality of these lefty wokesters who cannot accept reality they cannot accept the reality of biology and of science but they will continue to attempt to change words and to change meanings and to cancel basically cancel women for the purposes of making women defined as anyone who wants to be a woman including a man and that will never ever be because biology they are dangerous people. Anyway, I shall round it there. If you like what you hear and see on the channel, please hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. Ring the bell for notification of future output. Leave a like, leave a comment, and until next time, stay safe, stay well, and goodbye.